winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Thursday modding video. So last week, um, we worked on the Chandler 24 RDT. Still haven't fixed the issues. Uh, I sent it to a buddy of mine, and he was going to take a look at it because uh, he had bought in Polygonish's 9RX model, and he had that same syncing issue as I am having, so I sent it to him to take a look at. Uh, but he's been busy, so he hasn't gotten to it. But um, a buddy of mine had taken this trailer, and he got it into Giant's Editor and asked if I would... Um, do the in-gaming on it, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on getting this thing in-gamed. Um, we're going to probably work on this this week and next week. Uh, you know, I'm going to just do a half-hour video. So, first off, we're going to start off making a folder, textures, and then old. I always make an old folder now to just get rid of stuff that I don't, you know, clear up this main folder, move stuff that I don't need. Okay, so now we need all this stuff to go up into textures. Okay, so now what we need to do... Okay, so that's all ready to go. So we need to go here. And first, things first. Add in textures. Textures slash. So now we'll just do that on all of these okay so now all this stuff has to be changed to DDS and again copying and pasting Okay, so now we'll just click save there. And if we go into textures, we need to open everything except for this and this. Um, and I want to click to no. Okay, let's just open paint and then we'll just open all this stuff. File, open, and then we'll just go to desktop, mod whip, implement, fontaine, textures, all that except for that. Let's see, can I just select PNG? There we go. So now we'll just open all this stuff. But I still want to have all this stuff selected. So now we just go Control Shift S, DDS, save. And then close it. Control Shift S, DDS, save. Okay. Encoding overloaded. Yeah, because I'm trying to save a bunch of stuff. Whoa, the velocity name is quite uh, hectic. <laughs> Now I know just the trailer that I'm going to use the scripting off of for this. Um, there is a trailer out there that I'm going to use. Um, actually, we're just going to go Control X and put all this stuff in here. Okay, so now I need to go to old. We need to make a actually may not so here it is in blender it's a pretty sweet trailer i really like this thing looks awesome i think it's I'm trying to remember oops I'm trying to remember if you took a uh oh that's gonna kill 
things. I can uh, I think it's a SketchUp model that he redid. Can't remember. Step deck. There's got to be one. Um. Uh. Yeah. I guess the Wilson will probably work, but I thought I had. Hmm. Could have swore I had a, another step deck that uh, Silj, S I L J A or whatever, that he converted over. Um, I don't have that either. Where, oh, where, oh, where is it? Heck, I could even just overlay this on there. LJA. Um, okay. Step. Step deck one. Uh, I think this is the one. <laughs> Yeller. Is this the step deck that I want? Um, no, it is not. Okay, um. Sure. I know the one that I'm looking for. Whoops. That's not quite what I wanted. Uh -huh. I think it was a mod hub. Um, step deck. Drop deck. Drop deck. That maybe. Ah, uh, I cannot remember where I found that. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go find that thing. I am gonna hunt it down. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Okay, and I finally found uh, the trailer here. The, uh, um, the name of it wasn't quite what I thought it was, so that's why I was having trouble finding it. So, what we need to do here now is we need to make the uh, collision for this thing. Whoops. Uh, let's shift A. There we go. So now we need to bring that in. There we go. Bring it up. Let's just go into solid mode here. Tab, edit mode. Okay, so this needs to come all the way up here to the front of the trailer. Um. Right about to there. Okay, and that to there. This will pop out about to there. Okay, so now comes the fun part, and I say that with sarcasm, because this is not going to be fun at all. Okay, 
so now we take this, go like this, and then we go loop, cut, and slide. Actually, need to move that that way a little bit. Out to there. Okay, now we can take this. Whoops. Um, I forget how I did this now. Okay, so now if I select this, should it should go down? No. Uh. Oh, I cannot remember how I did this. That's definitely not it. Oh, man. I know there's a trick to doing this, and I always forget what that trick is. Pretty sure you gotta do this. I don't know what, E, and then drop it down? No, not really, because then you get that weirdness. Ha, I got an idea. Why don't we go like this? Let's drop all that. Ha ha. Export that, er, detach that. There we go. Haha. <laughs> we'll outsmart it. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not uh, guaranteeing that this is going to work here at all, but we're going to try it and find out. Oh, I know what I needed to do there. Okay, let's let's undo all this stuff. Um, Fontaine step deck. I just remembered what I need to do here. We can dissolve, oops, vertice, oops, dissolve edges. And to join faces. Uh, okay, let's start over with this here. Finally remembered the trick to this. You gotta do the loop, cut, and slide twice to get it. You gotta cut it twice, and then you'll get your drop off. So now, if we bring this down to the top of that deck, and then this up to the bottom of... Right there, that's good enough, I guess. So now, if we go loop, cut, and slide, oops, I need to undo that. 
I need to be in a better position to see it here. There we go. Oops. So now if we go face select, this should drop down with that. Yes, there we go. That was the issue. I knew there was a trick to this. I just forgot it. Holy. So now, oh, I had it. There it is. So now we gotta get this scooched over to gonna use my mouse pad here quick. There we go. Get zoomed out again. Okay. Um, and then gotta go wireframe again. It's so not here's where I can get this perfectly. Go solid. Oh, I missed it there. Okay, that'll be good enough. Oops. Okay, let's f fix this piece up first. Okay, so now we need to go wireframe and then we need to split it here as well. Right where I want this to go up. Now if I select this and bring it up to match that or closely match it. It's not going to be perfect, but that's good enough. In fact, actually, both of these need to come down a little bit because they're not quite covering everything that it needs to cover. There we go. So now we have us a pretty good looking collision. So, Fontaine Step Deck is what that's going to be called. We'll export this as an I3D and just the selected desktop. No, I need to go to documents for that. Collision. Okay. So we'll import that. All this stuff will go under that. And let me guess, everything moved up on me, didn't it? No? Nope. OK, good. So now we'll get the platform thing opened up. And then we'll get this checked out. Just the visibility and the rigid body. So dynamic compound collision. Dynamic compound collision and then all three of those. So we just need non-renderable. Perfect. Looks pretty good there. 
We can slow this down. So now we need to get some wheels. And I think we can take the wheels off of this. They'll look pretty good. Wheel. Expert selection with files here. Wheel. Then um, textures. These should be okay. Everything's still good there. Just look here. Yep. Um, let's copy this so that way all these are all the same so that they're all capital T just so that way nothing messes up or anything don't have to worry about it paste that up there We'll move uh, uh, no, we'll, we'll leave it down there. Okay, so this needs to go like that. Now comes the fun part of lining it up, since it's not actually meant for this trailer. Or, you know, wasn't made to go with this trailer per se then it's going to be just a little bit tricky especially since this trailer's dimensions are all completely different than the other trailers it's really going to be messy okay how's that look that looks pretty good Okay, now we'll go control D, and then we'll get it lined up on this side. Okay, so now, we want to turn that, and then go negative. Whoops, wrong way. That's the one. So I want to make that positive. And we should be clear of everything. Yes. Sweet. So I'll go to 1. Control D. 90. And positive. Okay, so let's look in some material editing here. Just make sure that everything's only got one material, because if it does, then I can add dirt to these tires later on, and it'll all work out good. And then I am going to actually go back and just add a different dirt to this. I'm just going to add everything to have the same spec map. And I'll just kind of have the light dusting of dirt. Um, so what are we down to for time? Okay, six and a half. Okay, so now, what else do we need? Um, we need an attacher joint. Uh, we also need object attacher. Okay, so he didn't add that that way. So that's all the lights. I have no idea what this thing does. This thing's meant for here. Platform support. Um, does this thing actually have a modeled jack on it? No. So I'll have to go back in and model up something small for that. I'll model up an, my own jack for it. So let's get the attacher joint out. Export attacher. OK, 
Okay, so the red face is forward. No, the red face is backward. So this needs to turn 90 degrees this way to be zero. And if we just zero this, zero that, and zero that, then we can get it brought up here and do some adjusting. Get brought over to about there. And brought down to there. So I'll lined up that direction. Okay. So what do I want to work on next? Let's see, I wonder are these separate? Oh, there's this collision. Okay. So his collision is set up just like that. Ah, I see how he did his. He did his in a bunch of little pieces. Okay, um... see here okay um i'm gonna close this and then i'll save this and then we'll get some dirt added onto this thing and then that'll be the episode so wheel collision attacher all can go to old textures we'll take out these specs here put them out there um, mod stuff, misc things, less dirt, dirt normal, vehicle shader, dirt. Uh, we'll just replace that one. And now we'll get some dirt added onto this thing, some new dirt. Wow. Oh, I know what else I was going to add to it. Uh, let's get rid of that Q map. I don't know if it's the same one as here that I like. But this is the one that we're going to add to it. I don't know what the heck that sound was. Give me one sec here. Oh. Payloader. Moving snow again. Okay, uh, so we can close the attributes. We need material editing. Emissive, what? He added those as emissive textures? Huh, whatever works, I guess. Okay, chrome trims. Vehicle shader dirt, cube map, is cube map 2, specular texture is less dirt. Oof, I don't know if this is going to actually work like this like I had hoped. Because he didn't have that. Added to that. Might have to do some changes to this thing in Blender here as well. Okay, so the less dirt looks pretty good. Um, so cube map, we'll add that to that. Just kind of gives it that little gloss. Specular, and we'll add less dirt to that. It's funny how in Giant's editor, everything looks a little bit different. Um, like dirt-wise, like here, it looks like it's covered in dirt. But then once it goes in-game, it's not going to look that dirty. That's just... I find that funny.
So he must have baked his yellows and his reds separate or something, I'm guessing. I'm not sure how he how he set all this stuff up, but oh, lights! I need to add cube map. So for now, I'm just adding cube map to everything, and then once it gets in game, then I'll just kind of see, you know, okay, the cube map doesn't look so great on this, so I'll remove it from there, or you know, whatever. So we need to add dirt to that and cube map to that. Good, so which piece is the wheel? So that's the only piece that I don't want to add cube map to is the ri the wheel itself because the rubber doesn't look so great with a cube map on it. So luckily I only have to do all this stuff to one tire because it all these tires are exactly the same so they all have the same material, everything. So as you can see, that one's dirty too even though I'm only selected on this one. So I'll show you guys that here. So we'll add our cube map. Boom, it's got some shine. Go shade your dirt. It's got a little bit more shine to it. Add the dirt. Boom. Completely dirty. Oops, I don't want the spec yet. Okay, so now this I only want the dirt added to. The rest is... Okay, now this is the last piece. That's the cube map. And then we'll add the dirt. Now everything is dirty. So that'll do it for this one next week. Um... We'll get the jacks modeled up, get those added in here, and then get uh, some lights brought over. That piece, those pieces there, unfortunately, won't get dirty. So, uh, I actually, I might change that. We'll see what happens here. Anyhow, that'll do it uh, for this video. Next week, we'll work on getting it finished up. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to uh, turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. <gasps> Excuse me. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as to link the links to social medias, mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.